is Pankaj Soram. You are watching JRU's Pancakes. It is the fifth episode, and in today's episode, we will be learning about defense, how to defend yourself in boxing. Stay tuned. So basically, there are a few movements when you do the boxing. So while a person is throwing you a punch, jab, or cross, you can either slip this way, this way. You can either duck, or you can weave, weave, something like that. One by one, we'll be showing you how it is done. So first, we'll concentrate on how to slip. So we remember, when you throw a punch to an opponent, you are just turning your hip and doing a jab. So when the person is also throwing the jab, you can do the same movement to escape from his punch. So for example, the guy is throwing me a jab, I'm also doing the same movement. The only thing is, my hand is not extended. So my shoulder is been rotated. So here I can come up with a counter. So this is the first movement. When you when you're doing the slip, basically, sometimes it is going to be very very close. You have to take that risk actually. So when a person is doing the jab, you can go either very close like this if you want to do the counter, or maybe when you're throwing the jab. I'm going a little bit far, so when I'm not, according to your plan, just try, try to do the movement. For example, if you see it from this angle, the slip will be looking like this. Go my face. Okay. Again. My face. So here, sometimes the boxing or the, or the, or the jab just, you know, scratches the back of your head. It happens. So basically you know how to do the slip for on the on the left, okay? On your right. So you can do for the cross also this way, the opposite angle. For for example, this guy is showing me the cross, so you can do a defensive movement like this when he's doing the head. Let's do it. Yeah. Something like that. So your shoulder here has been rotated. And if you can see, check out my legs and my whole body. Okay? So if you, if you see just like I threw the jab, I'm also moving my body. Just that my like, hand is still intact and I'm just escaping his cross, okay? So, if you see, once again, sorry, something like that. If I am going too far, I will not be able to come up with a counter. So, to, if you have a plan to do the counter, so you can be like a little bit close to the opponent. So, for example, if he throws the, the, the cross, okay? Something like that. So I can jump, come up with a body shot here or maybe any uppercut. So basically, these are two basic things. Here, there is another technique called duck. Okay, you have to keep your uh, like left, you know, you always focus on keeping the knees bent. So this is the movement. When he's doing the jab, I'm just sitting down, okay? I'm just sitting down. In old school, people used to just sit down like that. Okay, you can do a straight movement. So when you're doing a, sit a sitting down movement, you can come up and do the counter punches like that. But uh, you can also do another technique. While you're going down, you can bend a little bit. Okay, rotate a little bit. So it makes a U-turn. And if you notice my leg, it is like going down, rotating. Because when you're rotating, you're coming up with the hook. Okay, you're loading up your hand for a hook. So when, you, when you're going down, going up uh, coming up like this or maybe this way if you can see this way I'm again coming up with the right hook something like that so here if I sit down in front of him if he swing me in a jab I'll be like going down and coming up with the you understand the cross like the hook and from the other side again going down and coming up again something like that so from this angle if you swing me the jab, I'm going down. First, I'll just go down and come up and do one, two, three. Okay, just see. Hop, one, then back, then doing the one, two, three. Again. So, one, one, something like that. But if you are loading up, rotating a little bit, making a little bit of U shape, so you can come up, load up with your like left hook to the body or to the face, something like this. So if he's throwing it with the U movement, do the, something like that. See? Come, come closer. 
Let's do it again. Something like that, you understand? If I go this way, it will look like with the cross, if I'm making the U like this, so it will look like this. Do it. Then something like that. Okay? Again, it just hit my forehead again. Oh, I'm sorry. Okay? This is the way to do it. So the fifth movement is what we call weaving. So when a person is throwing you hooks, so you can either do the weave movement. It's like a U, big U movement. If I'm doing it for the right, for the right hook of a person, I'm going this way. So basically, turning the whole body and following up your left leg, like that. Again, coming up with a counter. If you're going this way, then you, you take a little bit of, you know, step on your right and again rotating this way. So I'll demonstrate it with an example. If it's coming up with the right hook, so I will weave it down underneath there. So you can notice my legs, my body, and how my shoulder is rotating. So take a look. So see, movement is very, very, you know, smooth. It's a big U, okay? If you can see my brother Tipu here, again, he is like very, get up. Let's see, let's try once. If you can notice, I'm taking a big U here. And if, from this way, if I go this way, on the other way around, I will have to take a little, little step here, okay? So if you can notice, I'm going here with my shoulder, keep your spine straight, come up with the right hook here, okay? So it will look like, okay, with this hand, okay. something like this, okay? I hope you understand. So from this side, if you're showing me a right hook, it will be like, right, uh, your, your left hook, then anything, anything, you understand? So basically this is the demonstration of how you defend, basic defense. So if you see you're approaching a fight without a head movement, so how easy it is for the opponent to hit you. And uh, I'll show you with another thing that is like with the movement of your head, how to approach your like opponent and how difficult it is for him to hit your head. Okay, for example, if I'm like uh, approaching the fighter without the head movement and he, if he's throwing me, how easy it is for him to hit the target. Okay, so try to hit me, maybe try to hit, okay, just to do some punches. So you can see I'm like a static object, but if I keep moving in front of him, if I'm bobbing my head here and there, it will be too difficult for him because I will also be throwing my punches with in addition to that. So it will be looking like this. That's why we always bring, it has been like focused on movement of your body when you are in front of the boxer, okay? So here, I'll demonstrate you. So, again, start. So, again. Okay. So you see the difference between a static head and a head that is moving, something like that. This is like a little demonstration. And I really hope you understand and learn a lot of things today. So hope you would uh, come join us in the next lesson. So just stay tuned for now and stay safe. Thank you.